you must be wondering why I have a question written and its solution to in this video. So as we saw in the previous video, this was the question, the answer was 8 vectors, you are very much aware of it. With the help of the initial part, I am going to teach you one more question. Usually in examinations and in your NCERT books, we see a question, find the direction cosines of a vector which is equally inclined to the axis. 3 axis, x axis, y axis, z axis. So how to do that question? As the wording says, you have to find the direction cosines means you have to find the L, M, N components. Also, it has been given that the vector is equally inclined to the axis. Already given, it is equally inclined to the axis. Means equally inclined to the x axis, equally inclined to the y axis, equally inclined to the z axis. So that means the L, M, N. When you say that equal inclination is there. This is your x, y, z plane suppose. Equal inclination of a vector means cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma where alpha, beta, gamma are the angles made with the respective axis. So given is that cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma or in other words L is equal to M is equal to N and so you will be using this relation and you will get the answer as L, M, N are 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3 respectively. So this thing you have to do, you have to arrive at the answer of 1 by root 3. The meaning is same, you already know this hidden question because we have seen one detailed question to it. But the initial part usually comes in examinations and it is very important from the objective point of view too. So you have to keep it in your mind. Equal inclination means cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma, L is equal to M is equal to N. Use this relation, put the values, get the answer as 1 by root 3 each.